to our very special soccer road show here at 5:30. Team USA will play Jamaica tonight at 7 o'clock. Good evening. I'm Josh Rowe. And I'm Latricia Thomas. We are here at Finley Stadium where the crowd is filing in, getting ready for the gates to open in just a few minutes so they can yet. go in. Well, they're standing. They're about to file. They'll they're file about to file. They are yeah. super excited and they have to be to stay warm in this cold. It is pretty chilly out here. <laughs> it is pretty chilly out here. I think we have some folks behind us. That guy's excited. He's excited. Uh, they're expecting dancing. about 20,000 people at this game uh, tonight. That's about 25 of them right there. The rest of the folks are probably still in their car uh, staying warm because they still got, you know, an hour and a half till game time. That's right. Of course, the U.S. taking on Jamaica right. here tonight. This is the first time the U.S. men's national team has been in Chattanooga. They've been in Tennessee several times. That's right. This is a friendly match tonight, but USA and Jamaica will meet again soon. Oh, that's right. This is the second game of the year, and these friendlies are important because a U.S. Cup qualifying round starts uh, very soon, just next month in March. That's right. They, the U team USA arrived on Tuesday. They've been doing so many things in the community since right. then. They've been practicing. They've been um, talking about meeting people, meeting young kids in soccer clinics. A few of the spectators came out to the first practice on Wednesday morning. We talked to some players about Finley and they said it was a great intimate stadium compared to what they usually play in. Center midfielder Benny Philiber told us why he thinks Team USA is so strong right now. The, the strengths are our team mentality, you know, the, the unity of the group. Everybody wants to play for one another and I think that's what makes us hard to beat. few faces that you should pay special attention to tonight. If you are not a huge avid soccer fan and you're just looking to keep up with this game, here is who to look for. Right. Center back Walker Zimmerman. He is making his men's national team debut tonight. He's from Lawrenceville, Georgia, actually just about two and a half hours south of Chattanooga. That's a good tip, Latricia. Also, other players are playing for the first time uh, this year. Uh, one of those people, uh, DeMarcus Beasley, hasn't played since October 2015. He scored against Jamaica in the past match, or a past match. Match, that is, he has made 26 appearances for the U.S. in World Cup qualifying, uh, re recording uh, six goals. Brad Evans last played in January 2016. He's also scored against Jamaica in their country during a World Cup qualifying match in 2013. Again, oh, they're excited. They are excited. The players, as we said, have been in town for a few days, just getting used to all that Chattanooga has to offer. That's right. It's Friday today. They've been in town since Tuesday. They've been traveling around, you know, doing some some things in the community as well. One of those things, uh, we were at a Highland Park Commons for the groundbreaking of three uh, new smaller soccer fields there. U.S. Men's Team was there for the event on Wednesday. The goal of the new fields is to create a safe place for the growing Latino community to play soccer. The project manager says they've been surprised by how many people use the fields that are already there. Uh, U.S. Men's Team defender Brad Evans says Chattanooga is a beautiful community and he is loving being part of the groundbreaking on Wednesday. Being from Phoenix, we didn't have anything like this. In our community, there were no small soccer fields to build real skills and to bring the community together. So to see something like this here is, is massive. I and mean, I know it's a very diverse community and it can only mean positive things. Soccer is growing on so many levels in Chattanooga, Absolutely. not just in Highland Park. We have Chattanooga CFC, the team that gets so many people to watch their games. They broke an amateur league record here at their last championship, right. um, as well as adult leagues where people just play for fun around the city. That's right. You talk about fun and excitement. We showed you about 10 minutes ago the fun and excitement on the other side of the stadium. Kelsey Bagwell is over there on that side of the stadium. There's a lot more people, a lot more action there right now. Let's go over there to Kelsey to see uh, what she's doing now. Hey, Kelsey. Yeah, hey Josh and Latricia. Lots of people decked out in their red, white, and blue. A few minutes ago, we saw a guy in head to toe spandex, red, white, and blue. It was a sight to see. I hate that he walked away from us, but yeah, the excitement is visible here. I mean, everybody is so excited for this game. But more than that, I spoke with some soccer organizations earlier today that said their enrollment and participation has doubled, and that's something so exciting to dance about. You're never too young or too old to kick around the soccer ball. This sport is getting more popular each year in Chattanooga. Soccer's growing immensely. It's crazy. In fact, enrollment for the winter program has doubled for Soccer Shots, a youth program that visits local schools. 
we were at like 250 children for winter last season and we're already way over five just for the winter season so it's doubled um, just that much. The start of their most popular season is still a month away. Our spring season is starting in March and we're looking we're probably going to be around 1500 kids for, for, for the spring season. Kids aren't the only ones getting in the game. Soccer obviously is the trend is up, up and up and we cannot add enough leagues. Tommy Travers is the founder and owner of Chattanooga Sports League, the most popular sport offered. You guessed it. He thinks CFC success inspires more people to play. And the growth in soccer in Chattanooga is definitely spilling over to us and we're very happy about that. More than half of CSL's athletes are in their soccer league. That's about 1500 people, three times more than when the company started in 2012. Just don't have enough places to put them. Uh, so we're trying to catch up to, to the demand. The demand is there and we're just trying to get get where the demand is at. Even with interest so high, both groups think the sky is the limit. Chattanooga is definitely a soccer town. Kelsey, yeah, thanks so much. I appreciate that. We talked to one of the stars of the team at Josie Altador uh, yesterday, and he says everywhere they play is special. There's something different about Chattanooga. To come to a place that's so excited to have us. I mean, obviously every city's excited to have us, but Chattanooga a little bit more because they, they maybe don't get, you know, so many of our games. So, you know, you walk around town, you see the excitement, so many people. So, you know, we're excited to be here, and, and hopefully we can put out an effort that they'll be proud of. And that is one of the players that a ton of people are excited oh, yeah, to see absolutely. tonight. One of the guys that has been responsible for that excitement that Chattanooga has gotten behind in um, the scenic city around soccer, Sean McDaniel, the GM for CFC. Thanks for joining us. What does this night mean for Chattanooga and its soccer community? Well, I think if anything, it just rewards the great passion sure. the city has for the sport. But, you know, it, it puts Chattanooga on a national map, and that's always been our intent and hope when, since we started this thing, and we're, we're thrilled that the men's team is here tonight. And it also helps build bus for CFC as well, right? Yeah, I mean, we're the, the recipients of sure. uh, the great work that U.S. Soccer did uh, this weekend. Right. And next weekend, we play Atlanta United from Major League Soccer, and we keep the soccer buzz uh, going. A great, exciting week in February, and even more to come this spring and summer. We can't wait. All right, thanks, Sean, so, so much. Thanks, Sean. We appreciate it. So many people yeah. excited for this game. CFC fans, USA fans, soccer fans in general. There's a lot going on here And tonight. they're still waiting to open the gates over here. It's going to happen any minute now, we promise. So let's go now go back to the